that, I welcome you all and I will pass it over to you, Mitch. Thank you, Riley. Thank you so much. Well, welcome everybody. <laughs> I'm so glad to uh, see you all here and uh, you're being consistent, which is really cool. Um, notice I have a glass of water in my hand. <laughs> That's just a reminder. You should have a little bottle of water, a glass of water by your side so you can sip water frequently throughout the class. Ideally, about every 15 minutes. I kind of remember about every half hour, but, um, you know, if you do a little more frequently than when I remind you, you're, you know, you're welcome to do that. So, uh, again, make it work for you. Don't overdo it. Have a good time while you're here. You're supposed to enjoy the moment. And because this is your moment, it's a moment in time where you just bring your mind into the moment, the body. And that helps relax the body. And it's very therape therapeutic for the system. So now let's begin with three heart opening breaths. So palms in front of the abdomen and inhale, just give it a nice big stretch and exhale. Let's do two more. Again, through the nose, let's inhale and stretch and exhale. One more time, inhale, big stretch <laughs> and exhale. All right, now with your feet about hip width apart, just throw your arms around from side, just relax the body. Look straight ahead when you do this. And when you go to a side, kind of give a little dip in the knee so you push down into a hip. You just want to push down to the hip. So don't think about the knee, just push in the hip and the knee will automatically bend. <laughs> and just relax the arms, relax the shoulders. See how relaxed the arms, you can make the arms. So if you relax the arms, you're just uh, moving the shoulders and the arms follow. <laughs> so everything I do is helping you bring your mind into the body. That's where you want to be. That's where you'll enjoy the class the most and have the most benefit just being here with me. Now, let's bring the arms up to shoulder height. So the outside palm goes face up, the inside palm turns down. We're still doing the same up and down motion. So when you push down into a hip onto each side, we're just opening the upper part of the chest as we stretch the arms out. Just a nice stretch. So stretching is really good for the body because it helps improve your overall circulatory system, relieves tightness, and <laughs> it has good impact on the joints in a very positive way. Now let's just widen the step a little bit and lift up high and stretch and go to the other side and stretch. Lift up high and stretch, other side and stretch. One more time, lift up high and stretch, other side and stretch. Now come back to the center. And just start bouncing the knees and uh, just bounce the knees and relax the shoulders. Don't move the arms yet. Just relax the arms. And uh, ideally, we'll be standing about hip width apart, maybe a little narrower. <laughs> and just relax. Relax the shoulders. Now let's start shaking the palms, just bringing a vibration into the body. So this is a vibration exercise good for your whole body and your brain. You want to be all shook up. So let's add a little wiggle to the hips so we get a little bit more of a dynamic shake, uh, shaking distribution through the body. And then uh, shimmy the shoulders, shimmy the shoulders. Now you don't have to do everything, just make it work for you and just have a good time. <laughs> All right, now bobble ahead, bobble ahead. So you're all shook up. Who did that, Elvis Presley? <laughs> Just shake it up. All shook up. Just relax. Okay, and now stop and feel a tingling in your fingers. Just feel a wonderful tingling sensation in your fingers. Okay, today's class is the bone strengthening class and bone strengthening class is a little similar to my stretch strength and balance class, except we uh, swap out some of the exercises or a lot of the exercises for the, um, actually for the um, uh, lifting weights. So we're gonna start here with a, just to kind of uh, go through a little stretching routine real quick, and then we'll start doing some uh, uh, strengthening exercises. So let's just drop the head down, just relax. And then just move the chin to the right and lift up high. So you're stretching all through the front of the body and then come down the other side. Again, inhale on the way up. So you take a big long breath, bring oxygen into the body and exhale on the way down. 
One more time. Inhale as we come up, feel through the body and exhale on the way down. Let's go the other way. Now see, when you inhale on the way up, see if you can feel it stretch through the back as you're lifting your chin up. And then exhale on the way down. You may not feel it, but uh, I just want to see if you can. Inhale. This helps you bring the mind into the body if you can feel it. And exhale on the way down. But even if your mind is in the body, you may not feel it. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale down. Good job. Then bring the head up. Now hands on the hips. And let's step forward with your right foot. Lock the front knee. I want you to inhale on the way up and then exhale, just hinge at the hip. So that'll help you keep your back straight. We're not curving the back. You just come down so you're putting pressure on the back of the leg and hold it right there. Now, when we add the breath, you're gonna be able to relax into it a little bit more and you probably lower yourself down even further, but try to still keep the back straight. So through the nose, let's inhale and exhale slowly, slowly come down. Good job. Again, inhale, big long breath, and exhale slowly. Just feel the stretch in the back of the leg. Bring your mind right into the body. One more breath, inhaling, big long inhale, a lot of big breath, and exhale. Just take your time to release all the stagnant energy and just relax into the stretch. Now, when you inhale, slowly come up and exhale. Take a moment, kick the legs out. Now, let's go to the other side, do the same thing. Stepping forward with your left leg. Hands on the hips. Let's inhale on the way up and exhale. You can bend the back knee, but keep that front leg straight. So you're stretching underneath the leg and just hold it there for a moment. It allows uh, the antagonist action to go into effect. And uh, if now the leg knows it's safe to come down, so we'll breathe into it. So through the nose, let's inhale and exhale. Just notice you just actually comfortably come down a little bit more and you enjoy the stretch. Again, inhale. And exhale, you should always enjoy the stretch. Don't overdo it. Again, through the nose, inhale. And exhale, should always feel really good for you. Now inhale, slowly come up. And exhale, relax. So you don't need to cause any pain. It should be all really good. Now we go into a forward bend. Feet about hip width apart. Palms from the abdomen. Inhale, let's reach out to the side. Hold it here and exhale into a stretch. Then we'll slowly roll the palms up, stretching through your forearms, and then lift up. Yeah, feels good, huh? And then when you exhale, roll the palms so they're facing outward, kind of stretch your back, lifting up, and then slowly hinge at the hip and keeping the back straight. Just drop the arms down. You don't have to come down real low. Just hinge to where you do, your legs don't let you come down any further. Again, it's that antagonist action that's kicking in here. So now we're relaxed. So here we go. Through the nose, let's inhale and exhale. Just relax a little bit. No arms. Notice you just come down more. Then inhale and exhale. Try to keep the back straight. Your head up a little bit. That'll help. Again, inhale. Big long inhale and exhaling. Relaxing a little bit more to that stretch for the back of the leg. Now when we inhale, slowly come on up. And exhale, relax, and just take a moment to kick the legs out. Shake the arms, shift the shoulder, wiggle the hips, and just kind of loosen the whole body up a little bit. This brings everything back into the balance for the body. All right, now let's, uh, let's work on our neck just a little bit more. So let's bring our right ear to the right shoulder. You can hold it there. You think you could stand a little bit more. You could actually wrap that right arm around the head and then give you a little pressure if you're doing it then extend the left arm. So you're kind of like pulling down with the fingers. Uh-huh. Now we're in position. Let's add the breath through the nose. Let's inhale and exhale. Just relax a little bit more into that stretch. Again, two more breaths. Inhaling, big, long breath. And exhale. Just relax a little bit more. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now we we'll inhale slowly. Come on up. Exhale, just kind of rock your head and shiver the shoulders a little bit, loosen up. Let's go to the other side. Left ear to the left shoulder. Again, you can just stay right here if you want. If you want a little more pressure, just wrap your arm around and just relax and then extend the arm and pull. Good. 
it's really good for, you know, when you, <laughs> I like to use when you're driving and you turn your head around to see behind you, you usually have a, well, sometimes you have a pain in the neck because you're not used to doing that. This helps get rid of that and you have a much freer flow of uh, moving your neck around. So it's inhale and exhale into the stretch through the nose, inhale. And exhale a little more into the stretch. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now, when you inhale, slowly come up. Oh, yeah. And exhale. <laughs> we held that a little longer that time. I could feel that. Wow. Just shake it out. Yeah. All right. Now, let's take our right hand behind the neck. We're going to bring our elbow across the body, but we're going to lower it just a little bit, not real low, but just a little bit. So inhale and exhale, just bring it across the body and then look behind you and hold it here. So inhale and exhale a little bit more deeply into that stretch. Again, inhale and exhale. Can you feel it all the way through your waist? Yeah. Again, inhale, big long breath, and exhale, looking behind you a little harder. Now when you inhale, slowly come out of this. And exhale, drop the arm down, shake all around, shake the shoulder, bobble the head. Let's do the same thing on the other side. We got to get balance in the body. All right, so we're gonna bring it across. So it's inhale up, and then exhale into position. And just hold it here for a moment. Now here we go, through the breath, inhale, and exhale, look behind you a little bit more. <laughs> Again, through the nose, inhale. And exhale, a little bit more into that stretch. One more time, inhale. And exhale, a little bit more deeply into that stretch. Now, when you inhale, slowly come up and exhale. All this stretching just gives you more, much more youthful. Everything about you becomes more youthful. In, a, in other words, youth is having a little bit more energy and it brings it back to you. All right, now let's do a, let's go into a little bit of a weightlifting here. So uh, without the weights, now it's optional. If you want to start off right away and start using weights, you may do that if you think you'd like to do that. So we're going to do pretty much the same exercises when we add the weights in the, in the second set of these. So let's start. I'm going to recommend you do it without weights and you want to make a tight fist when you're lifting a weight and, and, and then just use that as the uh, kind of like an isometric exercise as you're pushing up. So the first one's going to be an overhead uh, with a side step. So you, it's an overhead press with a side step. So bring the arms up to shoulder height, and then not, don't pull the elbows back too far, but just kind of, kind of relax. The elbows are slightly in the front. Now we'll start with our right uh, foot and right arm up. So same side goes uh, in action. So inhale, push up and tap out, and then exhale, slowly come back. Now the other side, inhale, push out, and then exhale, slowly come back. That's one set. Inhale, push out, and then exhale, slowly come back. Other side, inhale, push out, and then exhale, that's two. Inhale, push out, and then exhale, come back. Inhale, push out, and then exhale, come back. Now I got the breathing wrong. I wanna go with the exertion. So the exertion's pushing up. So we'll take the breath first and then we'll push out. So inhale and exhale, push out. Then inhale, come in. Other side, exhale, push out. And inhale, return. That's four. Inhale, push out. Exhale, return. Inhale, push out. And exhale, five more. Inhale, push out. And exhale, return. Inhale, push out. And exhale, Six, inhale, push out, exhale, return, inhale, push out, and exhale, three more. Inhale, push out, and exhale, return, inhale, push out, and exhale. Are you clenching your fist good? Yeah. Inhale, push out, and exhale, return, inhale, push out, and exhale, one more set. Inhale, push out, and then exhale, return, inhale, push out, and then exhale, return. And drop the arms down, shake the arms, send the shoulders, bobble the head, kick the legs out, just relax the body. And let's do three hard opening breaths right from the beginning. So palms from the abdomen and inhale, give it a nice big stretch and exhale two more. Inhale, give it a good stretch 
and exhale one more time. Inhale and stretch and exhale. All right, now this time, next time is a squat with a punch. So um, again, we're gonna do this without weights. If uh, you know, it's up to you uh, how you wanna work this out, but uh, believe me, we're gonna get a pretty good workout today. So what I want you to do is clench your fist and then come into a squat. Now let's start with the right side. We're gonna stand up and punch to the right. Ready? Inhale and exhale, come up and inhale down. Other side, exhale, push out and inhale, come down. That's one. Exhale and inhale. Other side, exhale and inhale. Two, exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. You come down as low as you want. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale, that's four. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale. Five more a little slower this time. So it's exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale, six. Exhale and inhale, try to keep the shoulders over the hips and exhale and inhale, three more. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale. One, two more. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale. One more. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale. Then inhale up. And exhale, shake the arms up, chin the shoulder, bobble the head, kick the legs out. Let's do three heart opening breaths. Palms in front of the abdomen and inhale, give it a nice big stretch. And exhale, let's do two more. Inhale and stretch. And exhale one more time. Inhale, give it a nice big stretch. And exhale. So this next one we're going to do is a tricep kickback. So what we're going to do is just kind of lean forward and pull the weights, uh, pull the hands back. So make a nice fit, uh, soften the knees, and just uh, just hinge at the hip, come forward just a little bit. So I'm not curving over lightly, my back like this. I'm just hinging at the hip. So nice tight fist. All right. So we're going to uh, inhale up and then exhale, kick back all the way. Then inhale and exhale, kick back all the way. Inhale, and exhale, three. Inhale, and exhale, four. Inhale, and exhale, five more, a little bit slower this time. So it's inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, three more. Inhaling, Exhaling, two more, inhale, and exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, just lift up as high as you can, then inhale up, straighten up, and then exhale, lower, and just shake the arms, shift the shoulder, bobble the head, kick the legs out a little bit, just relax the whole body, and let's do three heart opening breaths, palms in front of the abdomen, and inhale, give it a nice big stretch, and exhale, we we'll do two more. Inhale and stretch. And exhale one more time. Inhale and stretch. And exhale. All right. Now we're going to do a march with the bicep curl. In other words, <laughs> and if it, the march is too difficult for you, just do the bicep curl. So we're going to start with our right hand. We're going to bring the, when we bring the right hand up into a bicep curl, we're gonna bring our left knee up at the same time, all right? It's a, it's, a, it's a challenge to the balance. All right, start with the right side. So it's in, wait, first go inhale and exhale, come up, that's the exertion, then inhale down. Other side, exhale and inhale, that's one. Exhale and inhale, other side, exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale, 
exhale, and inhale, that's three. Exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale. So we're kind of twisting our wrist a little bit. Exhale, so the palm is face up, and exhale down, other side, inhale. I mean, exhale, and inhale. Okay, five more, a little slower. Exhale, and inhale. Exhaling, and inhaling. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale. Three more. Exhaling, and inhaling. Exhale, and inhale. Last two. Exhale, and inhale. Exhaling, and inhale. One more. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale. Oh boy, that's a really great exercise to bring the mind to the body. Now just shake the arms out, shim the shoulder, bobble the head, kick the legs out, just loosen up the whole body. And now let's do three heart opening breaths. Palms in front of the abdomen and inhale, give it a nice big stretch. And exhale, let's do two more. Again, inhale and stretch. And exhale one more time. Inhale and stretch. And then exhale. So before we continue, do you want to take a quick sip of water real quick? So just a quick sip. Oh, that is so good. All right, so no weights yet, unless you uh, insist. This next one's going to be an overhead press. What we're going to do is stand with our feet about shoulder width apart, soften the knees, and when we rise up, we kind of straighten the knees, okay? So we, we start, make a tight fist, and then inhale, bring the elbows to position, and exhale here. So let's start with the breath. So it's, we take an inhale and exhale, push up, then inhale, come down. Exhale, push up, inhale, down. Exhale and inhale for three. Exhale and inhale makes four. Exhale and inhale, five, nice tight fist. Exhale and inhale, six. Exhale and inhale, a little bit slower. Exhale and inhale. Let's do three more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. One more. Exhale and inhale. Then exhale up and inhale down. And then just relax the hands, shake them all about, kick the legs out, shoot the shoulder, bobble the head. Let's do three heart opening breaths, oxygenate the bloodstream. Again, inhale, nice big stretch, and exhale. This is such a healthy way to exercise. Again, through the nose, inhale, and exhale. Always take time to breathe. Again, inhale, and exhale. That's why you feel so good after a workout like this. Now we're going to do a, what they call a bent over row. Again, you're just going to have your feet about hip width apart. You're going to uh, uh, no more than shoulder width, between hip and shoulder width, somewhere it's comfortable. We, we bend the knees and just hinge at the hip, make a fist, and, and drop the uh, uh, arms down in front of you. We're just going to pull it, pull it, pull it, uh, arm, uh, fist straight up to our chest so the elbows will come back. So let's begin with an inhale and exhale, pull. Inhale and exhale, two. Inhale, I mean, exhale and inhale, three. Ex inhale and exhale, four. Ex inhale and exhale, five. Exhale, inhale, hold it here. Inhale and exhale six. Inhale and exhale seven. Inhale 
and exhale, eight, inhale, and exhale, nine, Ex inhale, and exhale, 10. Then inhale up and exhale, relax. Oh, so hard to get the breathing coordinated, but that way for me. Just shake the arms, shim the shoulder, bobble the head. Let's do three hard opening breaths, palms from the abdomen. And inhale, give it a nice big stretch. And exhale, again through the nose. Let's inhale and stretch. And exhale one more time. Inhale and stretch. And exhale. So you remember we did a bicep curl before. This one's called a, bite, a hammer curl. And uh, we're not going to uh, do, do the march with it. But uh, what we're going to do is just bring the, uh, just I want you to uh, soften the knees and make a tight fist and just bring the uh, uh, weights up to shoulder height. So it's inhale and exhale. Inhaling and exhale. Inhale, straighten the knees, and then exhale, slightly bend the knees. Inhale, and exhale, three. Inhale, and exhale, four. Inhale, and exhale, five more, a little slower. Inhaling, exhaling, six. Inhaling, Exhaling, seven. Inhaling and exhaling, eight. Inhale and exhale, nine. Inhale and exhale, 10. Then inhale down and exhale. Shake the arms out, kick the legs out, shim the shoulder, wiggle the hips, bobble the head. <laughs> Three hard opening breaths. Palms from the abdomen. And inhale, give it a nice big stretch. And exhale, two more. Inhale, give it a good stretch. And then exhale, one more time. Inhale and stretch. And then exhale. So we're going to do one more exercise. And then we'll sit down and go into a little relaxation so we can absorb some of this energy and just rest. So this is an overhead tricep extension. And... Uh, so we're going to drop the uh, arm, uh, fist behind the uh, back of our head if we're using weights that so drop behind our neck. So uh, knees are soft, not locked. I want you to inhale, bring the weights up, and exhale into position. Now, let's start with an inhale, and exhale, bring it up, then inhale, down. Exhale, that's two, and inhale, down. Exhale, three, inhale, down. Exhale four and inhale down. Exhale five and inhale down. Next five is a little slower. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Exhaling and inhaling. Exhaling and inhaling. One more, exhale and inhale, then exhale up and inhale down, shake the arms out, shake the palms, kick the legs out, shin the shoulder, just loosen up the body, and let's do three hard opening breaths, palms front abdomen, and inhale, big nice stretch, and exhale, two more, inhale, stretch it out, oh yeah, and exhale one more time. Inhale and stretch and exhale. Now I invite you to sit down. So we're going to go into a little relaxation. And you can uh, grab a sip of water along the way. We're just going to be here for about three minutes, just resting. So ideally, you just sit up straight, shoulders over the hips, and just put the back of the palms behind the knees and just relax. So if you push back into the chair, it's not as actively relaxing as sitting up straight. And this helps with your back and just keeps a neutral spine. So there's no pressure on your spine, which improves the flow of energy throughout your body. So just kind of look down to the earth and close your eyes 
just listen to my voice and there's nothing you have to look at except relax the mind by relaxing the body. So the way to relax the mind is just to simply bring it into the body, simply because the body can't relax unless the mind relaxes because the mind is always right there with the body. Now, as soon as the mind relaxes, the body will relax. And when the body relaxes, you release tension throughout the body. So you get a much better flow of energy because when you release the tightness, you release this restriction and you just open it up. So the body relaxes and functions much more efficiently in a relaxed position. The tightness reflects, re restricts the flow of energy. So you wanna relax the system throughout your body so the body can immediately restore, repair, heal, and bring itself back to its state of perfect health. So what you're doing right now is allowing the body to restore itself. You're allowing the body to absorb the energy that you just created from doing what we just did a few moments ago. So when you're inhaling, you're aware of the body expanding. When you're exhaling, you're completely and deeply relaxed. This helps bring your mind into the body without a care in the world. You're just being present in the present moment. There's no place like here. This is the best place you could ever be is right here. There's no place like home. This is your home base. And this is where you wanna come from is this wonderful sacred space of who you truly are. So you just give yourself a chance to just connect with, your, with the present moment. It's a moment in time where there is no time. You just you need, you don't need any time while you're here. Time is just not necessary. So you can relax, you can let go. You just give yourself a little break. This is your time. It's like taking a vacation. A vacation from anything outside the present moment. Because it's in this moment that you have absolutely everything you need. There's nothing you need outside of this moment. You're absolutely perfect in every way. You have everything you need within this moment. It's only the thinking mind that will take you away from what you truly have. So your mind is, and your body simply serve you, that wonderful spirit within you. That's who you are. Your mind and body is just a tool, nothing more. Can you feel the tingling inside your body? And I invite you to open your eyes. Let's clasp our hands in front of our abdomen. So when we inhale, bring the clasped hands up to our chest. Roll them forward as we exhale, extend the arms out, then inhale and exhale more deeply into that stretch. Now when we inhale, lift the palms up. When we exhale, look up to stretch. One more breath, inhale, stretch out a little bit more, and then exhale, slowly lower the palms down. Now, take your right hand to the left knee as we inhale, reach around behind and exhale into a twist. One more breath, inhale, let's twist a little more deeply and exhale, now we'll spin around to the other side. So it's inhale and exhale into a twist. One more breath, inhale, twist a little more deeply and exhale, come on back to the present moment. Okay, now time to get rid of the chairs. <laughs> All right, so you can stay seated if you want. You know, you can do this class standing or sitting, as you know. I should have highlighted that at the beginning. Oh, I should have known. You just want to make it work for you and don't overdo any of this. Everything you do is just perfect, so you can't overdo this. So we're going to grab some weight. So grab something that's comfortable for you and grab a weight that's not too heavy. If you don't have weights, you can do water bottles or you can just do a tight fist like we did before. And that works too. That's isometric. It's a really good exercise. I'm going to start with some light weights. It's about four pounds, and these are good for me. Um, and that's, that's kind of what I like to start with. So this first one, we're going to start with an overhead uh, push with a side tap. So we'll start with our right side. 
The knee should be soft to begin with and just relax. So remember when we lift our right arm up and push, we're gonna to tap to the side. So we go into position, we, we inhale up, hold it here and exhale. Now we take a breath, so it's through the nose. Inhale and exhale for exertion. We tap and push up and then inhale, come down. Other side, exhale and inhale down. Exhale and inhale down. Exhale and inhale, that's two. Exhale and inhale down. Exhale and inhale three. Exhale and inhale down. Exhale and inhale, that's four. Exhaling and inhale. Exhale and inhale, five more. A little slower, exhaling and inhaling. Exhaling and inhaling. Exhaling and inhaling. Exhaling and inhaling. Three more. Exhaling and inhaling. Exhaling and inhaling. Two more. Exhaling and inhaling, exhaling, and inhaling. One more time. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale. Good job, then inhale and exhale down. All right, now let's put the weights off to the uh, on a chair or a bench. Uh, hopefully you don't have to uh, reach way down and put them on a floor. Come back and join me and just kind of shake the arms out. Give me the shoulders, kick the legs out, just loosen the body, wiggle the hips. Let's do three heart opening breaths, palms in front of the abdomen. And inhale, give it a nice big stretch. And exhale, okay, two more. Inhale and stretch. And exhale one more time. Inhale and stretch. And exhale. Okay, as we go back and get the weights, anytime you want to take a quick sip of water while we're getting the weights, it's probably a good time if you need, need that sip. All right, so this next one, we're going to do a squat with a punch. So, so basically what you're going to do, we're going to uh, bend the knees and come down into a squat and bring the weights up to our shoulders. So it's inhale and exhale into position. Then we begin with an inhale and exhale right side out, then inhale down. Left side, exhale, inhale down. That's one. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale two. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale three. Exhale and inhale. Exhaling and inhale four. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale five more, a little bit slower. Exhaling and inhaling. Exhale, inhale. Six, exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale, three more, exhaling and inhale. Can you feel your calves when you come down? Exhale and inhale, last two, exhale and inhale, exhale. And inhale, always try to keep the shoulders over the hips. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Then exhale up and inhale down. And then put the weights over uh, uh, off to the side on a table chair. Come back and join me and just sh shake the arms out. <laughs> Kick the legs out. Just shimmy the shoulders, wiggle the hips, bobble the head, just loosen up. Let's do three heart opening breaths. Palms from the abdomen and inhale. Feels so good to stretch and then exhale. 
two more. Inhale, give it a good stretch <laughs> and exhale. That makes me happy again. Inhale, stretch, and then exhale. My body just loves these stretches and shake it out to the shoulder bottom head. Now let's go back and grab the weights. Notice I go a little bit slower to grab the weight, just in case you want to take a sip of water at any time. You have time to always have time to take a quick sip. Uh-huh. I must be getting thirsty because I'm remembering that. <laughs> anyway, now this next time, we're going to do a tricep kickback. And I'm actually going to increase my weight a little bit. A little bit. So I want you to bend forward and bring the weights up to your chest here. And we're just going to kick them back on the exhale. So it's inhale and exhale, kick back, then inhale and exhale. That's two. Inhale and exhale makes three. Exhale and inhale four. Exhale and inhale five. Exhale and inhale six. Uh, inhale and exhale seven. E inhale and exhale eight. Inhale and exhale nine. Inhale and exhale 10. And inhale up and exhale. Let's put the weights down. All right, let's shake the arms out. Shin the shoulder, bobble the head, kick the legs out, loosen up. Three hard opening breaths, palms in front of the abdomen. And inhale, give it a nice big stretch. And exhale, two more. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, one more. Inhale, stretch. And exhale. All right. Now, we're going to grab the weights again. This can be a little more difficult. So if you're switching weights, we're going to do a, a march with the bicep curl. So that, that one we're going to do, OK? So let's go get the weights. All right, I'm gonna be bold and try something a little heavier here. Okay, so right arm comes up, left knee comes up. And when you bring the weight up, we're twisting so the palm is faced into the sky and then coming down. All right, ready? Here we go. So it's inhale and exhale. Other side, inhale and exhale. It's one. Inhale and exhale. Other side, hold it a minute. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Makes three. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Makes four. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Five. Inhale, exhale, inhaling, and exhale, six. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, three more. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, two more. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale one more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Then inhale down and exhale. Let's put the weights to the side. Woohoo! Okay, now shake the arms out, shim the shoulder, bobble the head, loosen up the shoulders, kick the legs out. And three heart opening breaths. Pause for the abdomen and inhale. Oh, my body needs the oxygen. And exhale, two more again through the nose. Let's inhale and stretch. And exhale one more time. Inhale, open the lungs and then exhale. Oh, that was so good. Now we're going to do an overhead press. So make it work for you. So basically, we bring our weights to the shoulders and then uh, uh, press up with that. So feet are uh, uh, almost shoulder width apart where you're good and comfortable here, and knees are soft. 
Then I want you to inhale to position and exhale. Drop your elbows down just a little bit. Then take an inhale and exhale, push up and inhale, come down. Exhale up and inhale, that's two. Exhale, push up and inhale makes three. Exhale and inhale four. Exhale and inhale five more. A little slower, exhaling and inhale. Exhaling and inhale, three more. Exhaling and inhale. Exhale, feel a stretch through the abdomen, and then inhale. Two more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Then inhale and exhale, lower the weights. Okay, put the weights off to the side and come back and join me in the center and just kind of loosen up the body. Shake the arms out, bobble the head, kick the legs out. Let's do three hard opening breaths. Palms from the abdomen and inhale, give a nice big stretch. And exhale, two more. Inhale and stretch. And exhale, one more time. Inhale and stretch. And exhale, very good. Okay, now let's uh, grab some weights. Oh, that's a good one. All right, this next one, we're going to do a bent over row. Okay. So, feet are hip width apart, maybe less than shoulder width, somewhere in that area. You're nice and comfortable. Now, bend the knees and hinge at the hip and drop the weights right down in front of you. All we're going to do is pull the elbows up. So weights come up to our chest. So I want you to inhale and exhale to begin. Inhale and exhale, that's two. Inhale and exhale, three. Inhale and exhale, four. Inhale and exhale, five more. Inhale a little slower and exhale, six. Inhale and exhale, seven. Inhale. And exhale, eight. Inhale. And exhale, nine. Inhale. And exhale for 10. Then inhale down, straighten up, and exhale. Now let's go. Put the weights off to the side. And pose the arm back the way. And let's shake the arms out, shake the shoulders, wiggle the hips, shake the legs out, just loosen up the body and do three heart opening breaths. So palms from the abdomen and inhale, open the chest and exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale and stretch and exhale one more time. Inhale, give it a good stretch and exhale. All right. Now this next one we're gonna do is a hammer curl. So get the weight that you're comfortable with. And it's it's like it's, it's instead of a bicep curl, it's a hammer curl. We're just keeping the weight straight forward. All right, feet are about hip width apart, knees are soft, shoulders are back and down. So here we go. It's through the nose. Let's inhale and exhale. Come up. Then inhale and exhale. Two. Inhale and exhale. Three. Inhale and exhale. Four. Inhale. And exhale, five more, a little slower. Inhaling and exhaling, six. Inhaling and exhaling, seven. Inhale and exhale, we have two more. Inhale and exhale, one more. Inhaling and exhale, then inhale up and exhale down. Put the weights off to the side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and shake it up. I'm feeling really good. Having a good time. Really having a good time. And kick the legs out, shin the shoulders, and bobble the head. Exercise just makes you feel great. Palms from the abdomen. And inhale, give it a big stretch. And exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale and stretch. And exhale one more time. 
Inhale and stretch and exhale. Okay, now this next one's an overhead tricep extension where we're just coming up. So grab a weight that you're comfortable with or you can put two together if you need to. You need a little more weight there. And get a good grip on the weights and soften the knees. Okay. So let's inhale up and exhale into position. Now let's take a breath. So it's inhale and exhale, lift up, then inhale, that's one. Exhale and inhale, two. Exhale and inhale, three. Exhale and inhale, four. Exhaling and inhale, five more. A little slower, exhaling and inhale, six. Exhaling and inhale, seven. Exhaling and inhale, eight. Exhaling, straighten the arms and then exhale, nine. Exhale and inhale, 10. Then exhale up and inhale down and put the weight to the side. And that is it for our weight. So we're going to do some three hard opening breaths, shake up the body, and then we'll do some stretching to unwind. Palms by the abdomen and inhale, give it a nice big stretch and exhale, two more. Inhale and stretch and exhale, one more. Inhale and stretch and then exhale. Now let's take your right arm across the body, take your palm and pull it in or your elbow, whatever you're most comfortable, and just hold it there. And just relax into this. Now let's add the breath through the nose. Let's inhale, pull, exhale, relax. Inhale, pull a little more, and exhale, relax. Inhale, just a little bit more, and then exhale, just release. Let's do the other side, same way. Palm or your elbow. Shoulders are squared to the front. Let the arm relax. Then inhale, pull, and exhale, relax. Inhale, pull, and exhale. Inhale just a little more, and then exhale, relax. Now shake the arms, shift the shoulders, and bobble ahead. Okay, now let's clasp our hands in front of us. Then when you inhale, bring the palms up to the chest. Roll them forward as you exhale, bend the knees, and push forward. Then a breath, inhale, and exhale a little more to that stretch. Now when you inhale, lift the palms up. When we exhale, look up, stretch. One more breath. Inhale, just stretch it out, and then exhale, lower the palms down. All right, now let's work on our legs a little bit. Let's go right into a forward bend. So feet are pretty close together, palms in front of the abdomen. And inhale, let's reach out to the side, hold it here, and exhale, just stretch through the back. Yeah. Then inhale, lift up, and stretch through the abdomen. When you exhale, reach out and with the back straight and heads up a little bit and just hinge at the hip and drop the arms down and feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Okay. Now let's add the breath through the nose. Let's inhale and exhale. Just relax a little bit more to that stretch to the back of the legs. Again, through the nose, let's inhale. And exhale, just relax a little bit more to that stretch. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling, just relax a little bit more. Now when we inhale, slowly come up. And when we exhale, just take a moment, kick the legs out, shake the arms, shimmy the shoulders, and bobble the head. And let's take our right foot out, hands in the hips. Let's inhale up, exhale, hinge at the hips, bend the back knee, keep the front leg straight, and just hold it here. Now let's add the breath through the nose. Let's inhale. And exhale into the stretch. Two more. Inhale and exhale a little bit more deeply into the stretch. One more time. Inhaling and exhaling. Just, oh, that feels so good. Now inhale, come on up. And exhale. Let's go to the other side. Step forward with the left leg. And inhale and exhale. Bend the back knee, front leg straight. And just bring your whole mind into the back of the leg. So when you inhale, when you exhale, you just completely relax into the back of the leg. Two more breaths. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Let your body cool down a lot more efficiently, breathing out through the mouth. But inhale one more time through the nose 
and exhale, just relax a little bit more efficiently. Now when you inhale, slowly come up. And when you exhale, just relax. Take the legs out, shake the arms, shift the shoulders, and bobble the head. Now I invite you to sit down and join me for a little bit of a chat, a little rest. You shouldn't get up and run out right away. You should just sit and relax and just enjoy the time. Enjoy this moment in time. It's a moment in time with her.